Welcome, my friend. Thank you so much for choosing to spend your time with me on the mat. Today's practice is part of our March Renewing with Patience Yoga Love calendar. This calendar introduces the first of our special new series, Yoga with the Seasons. This series will help you be more present with Mother Nature and flow with the seasons, promoting you feeling more at peace and in balance and harmony with body and mind. Join us for this journey by visiting the link in the description below to get your free copy. As we approach the spring equinox, it is a time of balance between light and dark. We will cultivate balance in our sequence today, but as we flow through this practice, think about how you can take these practices with you off the mat and into your everyday for work-life balance, highs and lows in your energy or your mood. With all of that shared, I'll join you seated on the mat. Let's begin. Find that comfortable cross-leg seated position in your body. Maybe sitting up on a pillow or a cushion at the edge to invite ease into your hips. We'll take a big, beautiful breath in, circling those fingertips up to the sky. Palms kiss the top and lower to heart center. Let's press and fuse your palms together here at heart center, sending your elbows wide side to side. Let's shift your weight forward, noticing how this feels in your body and then shift your weight to the right, and then back, and then over to the left. Now return to center and find that sweet center, a place of balance between all four corners. Good, and with palms fusing together, broad and open across your chest, Shoulders drawing back and down as you lengthen up to the crown of your head, finding that beautiful, vibrant, long spine. We'll take three to five deep, conscious breaths at your center here, having the intention of your inhalations and your exhalations being of equal length. Maybe even counting your inhale for one, two, three, and your exhale for four, Three, two, one. Being present at your center with your breath here in this moment. Beautiful, my friend. Well, gently open your eyes and let's make your way to hands and knees. We'll tuck your toes and lift your hips up to downward facing dog. Take a moment here to walk your dog out, sinking one heel to the earth and then the other. Slow and steady, intentional movement. Connecting your breath with the movement and the movement being guided by the intuition of your body. Find stillness, and we'll wave your spine forward coming into plank pose. Then take a flow of your body's choice, either in lowering for cobra or taking chaturanga to upward facing dog. I'll meet you in down dog. And then we'll make our way to the front of the mat from here for forward fold. We want your feet at hip distance. Breathe in, lifting halfway, lengthening your spine, getting long. Exhalation, release. Take a slight bend in your knees, your upper body weighs heavy, tuck chin to chest, and ground down through all four corners of your feet to slowly roll up. Breathing in, circling your fingertips to the sky at the top, 
palms kiss and lower prayer to heart. And then we'll release your hands down at your side, shining your palms to the space in front of you. Stacking your head over your heart and your heart over your pelvis. Lengthen your tailbone towards the earth. Shoulders relax back and down while you lengthen up through the crown of your head. Notice how you naturally stand here, the distribution of your weight. And let's explore finding and feeling your center once more by exploring all four corners. So shifting your weight forward into your toes, noticing how this feels in your body. Then shifting your weight to the right, shifting your weight back, and then over to the left. Now return to center and find that sweet center of yours, that place of balance between all sides, grounding down through all four corners. Noticing if this is any different than that of how you naturally stand. Good. Now let's begin to shift your weight into your right foot, finding your center in this foot, that place of balance. And in your own time, keeping your palms at your side, draw your left knee in towards your chest, hugging it up and in. Now option to take a few ankle circles, giving them some love, making sure to circle in both directions, maybe even pointing and flexing your foot. From here, we're going to move into warrior three. So with control, we'll begin to lean your torso forward as you extend your leg back long, bringing your leg and torso into one long line. Arms are alongside your body. Your palms will be face down. Flex your foot. Point your toes down to the earth to square your hips. You want to do this rather than stacking like you do in half moon. So notice the distribution of your weight in your standing foot. Are your toes gripping? If so, find that sweet center. Find a point of focus for yourself on the earth, and with control, bring your palms to kiss at heart center. From here, with focus on that jersey, that point of focus, begin to fan your left hip open, stacking your hips. Your left shoulder fans open. We'll fan it back down, squaring your hips back up. We'll lower your toes back to the earth for high lunge, keeping your palms at heart center. Now good, we are going to transition back into warrior three from here. So let's bend into your back knee to shift your weight forward with control. We'll lift that back leg up. Your foot is flexed, toes point down, heels lifting up. Find your dristy point on the earth. And in your own time, we'll fan your left hip open once more. So toes point to the side space, left shoulders opened. And then fan your hip back down, squaring your hips back up. Good work, my friend, deepening that balance and connection with your body. With control, step your foot back to the earth, returning to high lunge. Your feet are on two separate tracks. Feel your body in balance here. This time, slowly press prayer up towards the sky, your gaze list following your palms. And then we'll slowly straighten your leg. Gaze stays lifted. From here, we're going to ground down through your back toes and lift your heel, coming to your tippy toes. Then intentionally press and sink their heel back to the earth. Good, take that two more times on your own. Breathing in as you lift up, exhaling as you press down. The last time your heel lowers to the earth, lower prayer to heart center, breathe and lengthen up, and on the exhale, hinge forward at your hip crease. Hinging forward, keeping that nice flat back. Good, now intentionally bend into your front knee, sinking into the pose. From here, keeping your torso leaning forward, extend your fingertips to the sky. Torso and arms are diagonal in line with your back leg. Shoulders draw down away from your ears, lower belly firms up and in. Keeping arms extended, let's lower your back knee to the mat. Take a big breath in to reach your fingertips up and back towards the sky as you lift your heart. Hips sinking forward and down into the pose. 
Good, go ahead and lower your hands to frame your front foot. Palms are at hip distance. And from here, we'll bring your front leg back, keeping it lifted, extend it long behind you. Flex your foot, toes point down towards the earth. Hips are square. Lift up through your shoulder girdle, find your center, feel it. And then when you're ready, in your own time, you you have the option to extend your arm out long. Go ahead and feel all those little micro movements that are happening to support your body in balance. Tapping into your breath to support you. Option from here to take tiger pose, reaching your right arm up and back to clasp the outside edge of your back foot. Go ahead and kick that foot back, lifting your heart. Feel good opening here, my friends. Breathing and feeling your body, your being in balance. With control, release, lowering everything to the mat and round out into cat pose. A nice counter pose. Release neutral spine. And we'll take a flow from here. So move into plank pose and take the flow of your body's choice. I'll meet you in downward facing dog. Make your way to the front of the mat. Bring your feet to hip distance. We'll breathe in, lift halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhalation, release forward. Take a slight bend in your knees, upper body waist heavy, tuck chin to chest, ground down through all four corners of your feet to slowly roll up. At the top, we'll breathe and circle your fingertips up to the sky, palms kiss and lower prayer to heart. Release your hands at your side, shining your palms to the space in front of you. We're returning to our mountain pose. This time, instead of exploring the four corners, see if you can feel and move right into your center, that place of balance between all sides, grounding down through all four corners. Good, now let's take that flow to the second side. We'll begin with shifting your weight into your left foot, finding your center. And in your own time, keeping your palms at your side, draw your right knee in towards your chest. Taking those ankle circles, if you took them on the first side, tending to that space, maybe even into those toes, circling in both directions, maybe pointing and flexing your foot. Find what feels good. From here, we're going to move into your warrior three. So with control, begin to lean your torso forward as you extend your leg back behind you, leg and torso in one long line. Arms will be alongside your body, palms face down, shoulder blades gliding down your back. Flex your foot, toes point down, hips are square. Notice the distribution of your weight in your standing foot. Those toes are gripping. Weight may be shifted forward, so find your balance. Find a point of focus for yourself on the earth. And then with control, we'll begin to fan your right hip open, stacking your hips just like we did on the first side. Good. Then with control, fan them back down, squaring your hips back up. Lower your back toes to the earth for your high lunge. Keeping palms at heart center, sinking those squared hips forward and down into the pose. Bending into that front knee, back leg is energized. We'll transition back into warrior three from here. So let's bend into your back knee to shift yourself forward with control, lifting your back leg, foot is flexed, toes point down, lift that back heel up. Palms at heart center, find that juicy point on the earth and in your own time, we'll fan your right hip back open. Toes pointing to the side space, right shoulder opens. And then we'll fan that hip back down, squaring hips back up. Good. With control, step your foot back to the earth, returning to your high lunge. Go ahead and ensure your feet are on two separate tracks to help with balance. Feeling your body in balance here in high lunge. And then let's slowly press your palms up through center towards the sky, letting your gaze follow your palms. And 
then we'll strain back leg, keeping your gaze lifted. Ground down through your back toes to lift your heel, coming to your tippy toes. And then with control, intentionally press and sink that heel to the earth on the exhale. Good, two more times on your own, using your breath. The last time your heel lowers to the earth, go ahead and lower your prayer to heart center. Breathe and lengthen up to the crown of your head. And on the exhale, hinge forward at your hip crease. Keeping a flat back as you hinge, pausing just before you feel that rounding sensation. And then intentionally bend into that front knee. From here, keeping your torso leaning forward, extend your fingertips to the sky so torso and arms are diagonal in line with the back leg. Shoulder blades guiding down your back. Lower belly firming up and in on the exhale. Lower your back knee to the mat and take a big breath in to reach your fingertips up and back towards the sky. Lifting your heart, hips melting forward and down into the pose. And then lower them to frame your front foot. Palms are shoulder distance. Bring your front leg back, keeping it lifted, extending it long behind you. Foot is flexed, toes pointing down. Feel your hips squared. Find your center here. And when you're ready, you have the option to extend your arm out long. Go ahead and feel all those little micro movements that are happening here to support you staying present in your body, tapping into your breath to support you. Option to explore taking tiger pose by reaching your arm up and back to clasp the outside edge of your back foot. Kick that back foot back as you lift your heart. Breathing, feeling your body, your being in balance. With control, release, lowering everything to the mat and round out into cat pose. Neutral spine. And we'll take your flow. So move into plank pose and take that flow of your body's choice. I'll meet you in downward facing dog. Soften your knees to the mat and flow through a few feel-good cat-cows, sinking your breath with the movement, finding what feels good, feeling your center, your balance, even as you move from cat to cow. Find stillness and release your hips to your heels. Bring big toes to kiss and knees open as wide as you would like, releasing your torso through center. Go ahead and ground your forehead to the earth. Maybe rock it side to side to further ground and connect in the here and now. Breathing deeply, nourishing breath. Taking note of all that is going on within that wonderful world of you. Let's round forward and make your way to a comfortable cross-leg seated position. We are going to close our practice with alternate nostril breathing. A few minutes of this breath work can help restore balance and ease your body and mind. Sometimes when we feel frazzled or find ourselves doing too many things at once, it can lead to our energy being out of balance. This breath can be great for restoring that much needed balance. So for this pranayama, let's place your left hand to your left knee, palm opens to the sky, bringing the tip of your index finger and thumb to kiss. Next, we'll place the tip of the index finger and middle finger of the right hand in between the eyebrows, your ring finger and pinky on the left nostril and thumb on the right. We will use the ring finger and thumb to open and close your nostrils. Let's breathe in through your nose. And to begin, press your thumb down into your right nostril, breathing out gently through your left. And let's breathe in through your left nostril. And then at the top, we'll close that left nostril, 
with your ring finger and remove your right thumb from your nose to breathe out the right side. Breathe in the same sign, full complete inhale. Pause at the top and switch sides, exhaling completely out your left nostril. Taking your time with your breath work, no rushing it. Breathe in through the left, close the left side, open your right, exhale out your right nostril. Then we'll breathe in through the right, close the right nostril, open the left and exhale out the left side. Breathe in through the left side, close it off, exhale out your right. Breathe in through your right side and then continue this alternate nostril breathing until you hear my voice again. After every exhalation, remember to breathe in from the same nostril from which you exhaled. Keep your eyes closed throughout. Continue taking long, deep, smooth breaths without any force or effort. Allow the effects of the practice to wash over you, relaxing and calming body and mind, restoring the balance of your being. On your next exhale, release and lower your right hand to your knee, bring the tip of your index finger and thumb to kiss. Draw your attention inward, noticing the effects of the pranayama practice. Allowing it to settle into your being. To close, let's set an intention for what you will do today to take these practices of cultivating balance with you off the mat and into your everyday. Let's breathe in to raise prayer to your third eye. Exhalation, bow forward to your heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me, my friend. I hope you feel balanced and restored in body, mind, and spirit. Comment below and let us know your intention for cultivating balance off the mat. See if you can inspire others. Please throw the video a thumbs up and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. This really truly helps to support our work and making yoga free and accessible to all. I'll see you again soon, my friends.